Thank you, Brian. We're going to bring in Republican Congresswoman Nicole Melitaka. She's from Staten Island, New York, and she joins us for her reaction today. And uh, good morning to you. What, what, what I think is so insidious about this part of the story is that the emergency in New York City really set the standard for the rest of the country. Uh, the problems we were having here in New York, uh, it was like a clarion call for all the other states to, to listen up. Um, and New York led the way on that. Now, what do you make of this story today? I think it's clear that the governor stonewalled. Uh, they actually underreported, which the AG proved. And now we know that they've covered it up, which his chief of staff admitted. And I was uh, one of the first to call for an investigation on May 7th. And I called for that investigation simply because it was clear that the governor mandated COVID positive patients into these nursing homes, regardless of whether the nursing homes could accept them and care for them. They didn't have the proper PPE for their staff and the, and the uh, nursing home residents to keep them safe. They did not provide the adequate testing necessary to identify and isolate those individuals. And even when there were alternatives set up, like the U.S. Navy Comfort Ship and the Javits Center, he continued to mandate that executive order. I mean, now we see Democrats joining the calls. Uh, we, we see that they finally want to take back his emergency executive powers, which I've been calling for for months. And this is the right path. But what we really need is the Department of Justice to continue an independent inquiry into this governor and why he decided to do that executive order to begin with and why he continued it when there were alternatives and then what happened with the reporting and then what happened with this admitted cover-up that his chief of staff said occurred. Congresswoman, there is a market change now um, since just yesterday with Democrats now being extremely frustrated as well. The New York Post headline saying um, that Democrats slam lying Cuomo over COVID-19 nursing home cover-up. Now, he's had quite a lot of popularity, right? He wrote a book about his leadership during this time. He got an Emmy for the briefings that he did. Um, do you see the fallout continuing? Because Democrats, they seem to be one, extremely furious and also starting to wonder if he can continue to lead going forward. Yeah, well, look, I think the Democrats are upset because, quite frankly, they covered for him. We had a hearing, and I was a member of the state legislature at the time, uh, August 3rd. We had a bipartisan hearing. We had the commissioner of health there. He stonewalled. He came for just a little while and then left, didn't answer any of our questions. Then the August 25th, le 26th letter came from the Department of Justice, and he's trying to use that as the reason why he has not given us any answers since the summer. And that, that is just completely unacceptable. So naturally, these legislators are getting a lot of heat from their mm -hmm. constituents who want to have answers. There are families that do deserve justice. And I've called for him to resign. I hope that they also join me in that effort. And, and by the way, thousands of New Yorkers have gone to my website, Enough. Cuomo.com to tell him to resign because this is completely unacceptable. And I believe it'll be either by resignation, prosecution, or next year at the ballot box, but that Cuomo's days are finished. Well, you're right about Democrats calling for him to step down as well. Can, can you address one thing we heard in a clip a moment ago? He said the nursing home staffers, not the returning patients from the hospital, likely brought the virus into those facilities. Is that true? Well, I you know, no one will really know that answer because, as I said, we, you know, they didn't provide the testing. We had been asking the Cuomo administration to provide tests so we could identify and isolate the positive, either patients or the staff, uh, in these nursing homes. Uh, what we can, what we do know is, after the March 25th directive, thousands of individuals died in our nursing homes. So that's why we really need an independent investigation to identify exactly what happened here. But I can tell you that, you know, we were on the street delivering PPE and gloves and masks and, and, and uh, supplies. They didn't have the proper PPE from the state mm -hmm. to care for uh, individuals in these nursing homes and keep them safe. And that is really part of the problem. You see what other governors did. They separated them. They put, they had nursing yeah. homes for COVID positive only. That was something that should have been done. But certainly using the alternative facilities that were set up uh, just weeks later. Thank you for your time. Certainly more to come on this. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you.